Hey everybody, my name is Faustin Amler, I work for the MariaDB Foundation and today I'm going to show you how you can back up your databases with uh, those two tools, uh, MariaDB Backup and Restic. Here is the menu, uh, we'll do a quick presentation of the MariaDB Backup tool. I will show you how you can uh, do a normal backup and then an incremental backup with this tool. Then uh, enters Verstic, uh, what it is, a uh, quick presentation of it. Uh, we'll do the same thing uh, as before, but uh, by the use by the with with Restic. So uh, normal backup and an incremental backup. I will quickly talk about uh, Restic remote storages that are called the backends. Uh, and finally, some performance considerations, uh, some tips, and some links uh, for further reading. MariaDB Backup or Maria Backup is an open source tool provided by MariaDB uh, to perform physical online backups of your databases. It was originally forked from Percona Extra Backup and it is available on Linux and Windows. You will see uh, uh, both commands MariaDB Backup, so MariaDB Backup and MariaD Maria Backup, sorry. Um, the, the first one, Maria Backup, is just a symbolic link of uh, on MariaDB Backup. So we'll use MariaDB Backup in the next uh, of this presentation. Uh, installation is quite easy. Uh, you have the possibility to download the executable uh, directly from binary tables that are provided by MariaDB. Uh, you can also install the MariaDB Backup tool uh, with your um, package manager on your favorite uh, Linux distribution. Here is how you can create a local backup. So this is the command line and uh, this is more or less uh, what the output uh, would uh, look like. The tree of uh, your uh, backup uh, directory uh, you will recognize here that this is more or less the same as the data data tier of your MariaDB instance. And uh, it's important to understand also that there is no compression and, and the, the, the size of your backup uh, directory uh, is going to be more or less the same as the one from your uh, MariaDB instance data tier. That's why incremental backups uh, are interesting. First of all, they are more um, quick. Uh, and secondly, uh, you will, of course, use less storage uh, for your backups. So here is how you can uh, create uh, an incremental backup. So the first command is exactly the same. So sorry, the first command was this one. So you have to create a full uh, normal backup and then um, you will create uh, another backup that will be an increment of your uh, original backup. Of course depending on the load of your database and depending on what happened between uh, those two backups uh, the time will not be the same but basically this is how you will create uh, an incremental backup and the next incremental backup is just going to be uh, the exact same uh, logic. So you will uh, just uh, give uh, to your uh, command the previous incremental backup. So this is more or less what would your incremental backups look like. So backup db being the, the normal full uh, first backup. Backup db1 and so on uh, would be all the increments uh, between your backups. about restoring your backups. This is quite important. Um, in order to have your backups consistent, uh, you will have to prepare uh, your backup. So once the backup is done, uh, before being able to, re to restore it, um, you need to prepare um, this, this backup uh, and, 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 and have a, a consistent backup. Uh, I'm not going to enter in details on, on all the tasks that are done here, but Basically, uh, as it's a not backup, uh, when you do this backup, 
Um, about the restoration and the prepare phase, um, I was saying that you you are doing your backups while the database is running. So um, between the beginning and the, the end of the backup, uh, the, the MariaDB backup tool uh, is recording any change that is done on the database. Uh, so these changes have to be applied uh, on your backup to be uh, consistent before you restore it. So this is one of the tasks that the, the MariaDB backup uh, prepare, prepare step does. Then um, you have to stop your MariaDB instance. That's uh, quite logic, but uh, well, anyway, if it, if it has crashed or if, if you're uh, in, in, a, in a crash recovery, then it should be already the case. Um, you will remove your data here, uh, and then you will be able to uh, uh, move back or copy back uh, all the information from your uh, backup. Uh, remember, you have to prepare the backup um, before doing this. Um, you mainly will be working uh, as an, an, another user, so not root, hey, sorry, not MySQL user. So um, the, there is a step where you have to, of course, uh, create, uh, change the rights of your uh, data here. Uh, before starting uh, your MariaDB server. So those are the steps for restoring uh, backups, full backups. What happens with incremental backups? Uh, this is the same, uh, but <laughs> you have to, uh, for all increments, uh, uh, integrate all these increments to your to your um, to your backups. So. You will be you will be preparing the backup, uh, the original backup, and then add to it uh, all the, the 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 increments. Note that the order is very important. Uh, you have to follow the order of all your increments. Uh, once you have prepared and once your backup is consistent, you will be able to um, integrate. Uh, and copy back or move back the, um, the, the backup and restore uh, it to the database and start the database again. So that's quite difficult. Well, it's not difficult, but it's quite um, extra steps. Uh, it takes extra time and uh, and and I think it, it complexify a bit uh, the, the restoration process and, and so the backup process and the backup strategy. Let's speak about uh, an important option um, that we will be using uh, in, 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 with RESTIC uh, in, in, the, in the next um, of this presentation. Um, this option may be, uh, permits you to, um, to, to serialize uh, your backups. And uh, with this option, a uh, very, very, very practical option, you can, uh, for instance, compress your backups on the fly. So this is, for instance, what the compression with uh, gzip uh, would look like. Um, to uncompress it, uh, you will we'll be using the mbstream uh, uh, tool that is provided also uh, with the MariaDB backup um, tool. You can, of course, uh, apply the same logic uh, for encryption. Um, so this is what an encryption of your backup would look like, uh, and the decryption uh, uh, by using, for instance, GPG. OK, uh, what is RESTIC and how can it help us uh, in our uh, backup strategy? Uh, RESTIC is uh, written in Go. Uh, it's a um, fast and secure backup program that supports a wide range of um, storages. Uh, they are called backends in the documentation. The, 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 the RESTIC solution permits you, if you couple it with MariaDB backup, um, to very easily implement incremental backups. That's something that we just saw is not so easy to, 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 to set up. That would permit you to uh, very easily uh, store your backups remotely um, 
it makes sense uh, in your backup strategy. You can, of course, have it them locally to be able to fetch them and, and, and restore them um, quicker, but uh, having them off-site is really important too. Then, uh, finally, uh, Restic will, have, will permit you to, to encrypt your backups. Uh, that's also something you may uh, be interested in. How can you install it? Uh, being a Go program, uh, it's quite easy to install. You just have to fetch the, the, the binary from, from GitHub. Um, note that there is a very useful uh, self-update option. So if you, if you choose this, this way of installing RESTIC, then you will be able to uh, really easily uh, update the binary um, uh, in the future. Uh, but you have also the choice of installing it with, with your package manager. Um, the, the, the RESTIC program is, is available uh, on Debian and Ubuntu uh, official repository and same goes for React and Fedora and other distribution. Okay, first step is to create the RESTIC repository. This is where your backups are going to be stored. We'll first, we will for the moment create a, a local uh, RESTIC repository, but I will show you then how you can uh, uh, create those uh, remotely. The, um, you can either uh, provide RESTIC um, configuration options uh, through via environment variables or uh, directly in the command line. The, um, a uh, repository uh, should of course be provided and a password because RESTIC will by default uh, encrypt your, 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 your backups. So the RESTIC init command uh, will permit you to create the repository. That is going to look like this. Uh, RESTIC is storing your backups by chunks of data. Um, is creating a, an index of every uh, every chunks, um, and this is how RESTIC um, deduplicate all your um, your backups. Uh, okay, let's take a look at how we can uh, backup uh, the MariaDB um, database. The command uh, line is the same that the one that we used uh, previously. So you will use the dash dash stream option. And what we do basically is to pipe uh, the output of the command directly to RESTIC. RESTIC provides a standard input option that we're going to use. The name of the file uh, should be specified, of course. Um, this is how it will be stored in the in the um, in the repository, as you can see here. So that's it. Uh, this is the first uh, backup. It's called snapshot for RESTIC because um, it stores your backups incrementally by default. So here you have your first uh, backup. Uh, a bit more than uh, 60 um, uh, gigabytes and it took 3 minutes and 35 seconds to do it. This is a, re a local backup, uh, remotely uh, should take a bit more, uh, but anyway. Uh, how can we cre create an incremental backup of this? Well, it's easy. This is the exact same command, uh, exact same command repeat it, RESTIC will take care of the increment. So, as you can see here, RESTIC added 2.1 uh, gigabytes to the, to the repository, and we can see here the two uh, snapshots. So, our repository now contains two snapshots of our uh, MariaDB database. A uh, quick note about error handling. Um, the, the stream option from MariaDB backup um, will uh, output all the data to the standard output. Um, 
and the, the log is going to the standard error. This is not a bug, it's intentional. You can take a look here at the Percona um, issue that was open that explained why this is a design of the, the, the MariaDB, well, of the tool, the extra backup tool, but uh, MariaDB is a fork of it, so it, it, it uh, uses the exact same um, design. And so just to remind you that this is why we use in the command here, um, uh, we, we output the um, standard error to a specific log file. This is important, um, taking consideration that um, you will have, you maybe want to take a look at uh, this log and, 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 and monitor it uh, to see if your backups are running well or if you have any problems in your backups. Uh, of course, the best options, uh, we'll discuss this later on, is to verify that you are able to restore your backups um, on a regular basis. This is, of course, the best monitoring that you can have on your, on your backup strategy. How to restore it? So, uh, the, RESTIC option, the RESTIC command will permit you to restore any snapshots that you have taken. Um, the easiest uh, command for you is to use the latest uh, keyword. Sorry, sorry, the latest keyword, um, and RESTIC will uh, reconstruct the MariaDB dash dot xb um, file locally. So target uh, dot. Once the snapshot has been restored, so you have your file locally, um, you can um, unserialize it uh, with the mstream command. We already saw it. And then, uh, same goes as for uh, MariaDB backup, uh, uh, the, the first uh, backup that we, we, we discussed. Um, you have to prepare it uh, to put it consistent. Uh, and then uh, the steps to, 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 to restore it are the exact same steps that we already saw. All right, what about uh, remote storage? So they are called RESTIC backends. So the easiest solution uh, is definitely SFTP. Um, as you only need an SSH remote server. This is uh, so not the most uh, performant uh, option, but well, it's working quite good. Um, you just uh, change your RESTIC repository like this, and, and this is the only thing that you have to do. Of course, you need the repository, but yeah. Uh, other options are uh, S3 storage from AWS or a mini or server. There is a detailed example on the documentation of to, how to set up your S3 uh, storage uh, on Amazon um, on the RESTIC documentation. This is the same logic, you just change your um, RESTIC repository uh, environment variable. You have to add, of course, access keys and secret uh, access keys. Uh, and then you are good to go. You 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 can you can create your backup remotely on on S3 storage. There is a quite important list of available backends: um, Azure, um, Google Cloud Storage, Alibaba Cloud. Um, take a look at at uh, at RESTIC documentation. Again, uh, there is also the Air Clone option that will give you uh, even more uh, uh, storage uh, solution uh, options. What about performance? Um, so this is this is something that would maybe necessitate uh, require sorry a, a full presentation uh, and and to do it well, it's it's not very easy because uh, of course um, it depends on lots of, of of parameters that are load on the DB at the moment of the backups, the network load uh, and the available bandwidth uh, if you are doing remote storages. Uh, IA disks, uh, and also you cannot compare uh, a, a tool that is only storing your backups without encryption, without uh, compression, uh, with something that will uh, by default encrypt 
index and deduplicate your backups. But to give you a, a, an idea, um, those are the, the tests on uh, 64 uh, gigabyte database. Um, so it would take you two minutes more or less to, to do it with uh, Maria backup. And the time necessary for an incremental backup would be more or less 44 seconds. Uh, with RESTIC, uh, it takes the first backup would take uh, a bit more, um, and the incremental backup uh, is of course uh, quicker than the, the first one because only the delta, or all the increments, are added to the to the repository. But anyway, those are the the numbers. Um, it really depends on, on how your DB is used uh, at the moment of your backups uh, and, and other parameter that, that should be maybe tested uh, better, but this is an, an idea. Okay, something we already discussed, um, uh, your backup strategy should include uh, uh, regular tests of your uh, uh, capacity of re restoring your backups. Um, most of people think that uh, if they have their backups, it's okay, but this is uh, a backup is useless uh, without uh, a proper uh, recovery uh, um, process and a tested uh, recovery strategy. Um, this is just an example how you can do it with um, with with uh, containers. So uh, we provide uh, MariaDB containers uh, with all the versions that are uh, available, and you could uh, test your backup by uh, in the first uh, terminal well so I'm using Podman here but you can use uh, maybe Docker or any other container uh, you know, system um, uh, just mounting uh, the, the volume uh, where you have your backups into uh, the data there uh, changing the writes and in the second terminal this is the command that will permit you to start the database and then you just have to connect to it and, and verify that everything is, is, is running and everything is in place. Some, some more tips uh, about, um, about the backup strategy. So as I already say, um, uh, automating the recovery and, and, and check process is something that you may consider to doing. Um, and if you have a staging environment, why not injecting your backups uh, in your staging environment every night? Uh, that could be a very um, automated way of testing that uh, in case of crash, you will be able to, to recover your backups. This is a tip for RESTIC. Uh, I encourage you to use tags. Um, you may want to use uh, uh, the same repository for uh, more than one backup, more than one host backup, and in that case, this is uh, something that uh, RESTIC encourages to do because then the, the duplication is, is even better. Um, but in that case, uh, if you use tags, then you can um, uh, easily uh, uh, clean your backups and, 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 and decide what retention strategy you want for your backups. Um, you can use nice command uh, for RESTIC if it takes too many resources. Remember there is encryption, deduplication, indexing and so on. So, so you may want to, 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 to start your, your, your backup with RESTIC with a nicer um, process level. Um, and finally, uh, remember that uh, backup in your database and using MariaDB backup is also very uh, nice uh, for um, creating um, secondary nodes uh, of your of your of your databases. So why not using <coughs> your your backups to create secondary nodes and 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 backup from that, that node instead of the, 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 the primary uh, MariaDB server. Here are some links, so the MariaDB documentation, the JIRA instance where you can report issues, the RESTIC documentation. Uh, here is a very interesting um, analysis uh, of, of the RESTIC cryptography. 
uh, design. And finally, uh, you may not know RESTIC, but you may know Borg Backup instead. And I believe, I have not tested it because I, I never used it, but I believe you may accomplish the exact same stuff with Borg, um, because Borg seems to, to provide also a standard input uh, uh, option, so to be tested. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye.